Hi guys and welcome to a new metal comparison video between four modeling products. The Fractal Audio Axe 8, the Line 6 Helix, the Kemper Profiling Amp and Bias Head from Positive Grid. I don't usually make disclaimers but just so you know I'm not affiliated with any of these brands for this video so this is as fair of a comparison I can do. There are probably going to be a lot of people saying that I made one unit sound like shit but I promise you I do not intentionally make one sound better than the other. Okay, glad we got that out of the way. I would also like to thank my homies in Created again for lending me their Helix. Check out their band because they rock. So in this video I will compare the ability to profile or tone match an already existing amplifier to make it sound as close as possible to the original. I would set up the sound in all modelers to make them sound like the original to the best of my ability. This test will not mention anything about the feel when playing, it will just focus on the sound and nothing else. I will be tone matching a real Mesa Boogie Mark 2C Plus amplifier going through a Hesu 2x12 cabinet mic'd up with a Shure SM58. In front of the amp I'm using a Maxon OD808X just to give the sound a bit more saturation. Before we start I'm just going to explain how the different modelers work when it comes to capturing an amplifier. The Kemper has its own unique profiling process where the Kemper sends a bunch of different sounds and signals through your rig so it can read the response of your amplifier. You don't need to design a sound before you start which is of course a big plus compared to the other units when it comes to amp matching. For the bias head, since you construct your own amplifier using different components like preamp tubes, transformers, etc., I would try and design an amplifier to sound like the Mark II C Plus as much as possible, and after that, utilize the bias amp tone match to tone match the real amp in cabinet. So I'm not using a Mark II C Plus amp sim in the bias head, I'm just trying to design an amp to sound like one. So in that sense the bias head is not as easy as the other units to do an exact match with but I think I got great results anyway. With the Axe 8 I used an amp sim called the USA 2C Plus with Bright and Deep which is based on the same amp setup as the original and it should behave just like it so I set the amp sim controls exactly the same as on the real amplifier. The Helix doesn't have an amp sim counterpart for the Mark II C Plus but it has a Mark IV model so I'm using that one. It should be fairly close. But just as with the Axe 8 I would set it up using the same settings as on the real amplifier. And since the Axe 8 and the Helix do not have a tone matching feature like the Kemper and Bias head I made an impulse response of the cabinet and microphone using the power amp of the real amplifier. I then loaded the impulse into both the Axe 8 and the Helix. And since I'm making the impulse using the real power amp of the Mark II C Plus, it means I have to shut off the power amp sim in the Axe 8 and the Helix. So let's go! And here I have the different sounds in Logic and we're going to check it out to see how they sound. As you can see I've not added any extra plugins, these are the raw files from each and every one of the units. You could of course EQ match the recordings even more if you want to, if you want them to sound more like the original. But this test is to show you how close I can get using the products direct without any extra equalizers or effects. Alright let's check them out. So this is the sound of the original Mark II C Plus amplifier. Thank you. 
So what did you think? In my opinion it's getting really hard to hear differences between these recordings and I would say if you would hear them in a mix you would probably not be able to tell them apart. The results I got from these modelers I would say it's 99% close to the original amp which is definitely enough for a lot of people. I knew before I started that the Kemper and the Axe A would definitely pull off this test without any problems since I've been using them for a while but I was really surprised and quite happy actually to hear how both the Helix and the Bias Head nailed the same tone. Another thing that I was pleasantly surprised about is that when you're setting up the amplifier in the Axe 8 and the Helix exactly like on the real amplifier the preamp basically sounds exactly the same as on the real amplifier. Coupled with my impulse they are both extremely close. Very impressed I must say. The Kemper is awesome in the sense that I don't really have to put any effort into actually making a sound before I start to profile it. It just profiles the amp and that's it. It might not sound exactly the same but you can still tweak the sound afterwards to try and make it sound even closer to the original. With Bias Head not having an exact Mark 2C Plus amp sim it's a bit harder to design the amp but together with the match function in the app I think I got very close. It's almost scary to hear how close all these units comes to the real deal without using any match equalizers. That means all brands are nailing the tone matching aspect even if they use different approaches to get there. All sounds and presets will be available to download just check the description below for a link. The bias head preset will be available in the tone cloud. That will be all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to interact with me, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See ya!